journey here that journey check on instagram i got my root beer i'm ready for the premiere who's ready for the premiere i hope you have some popcorn and uh maybe some eggnog with some brandy in it you know tia always recommends it i haven't tried it maybe for the premiere i will have some i have ordered some eggnog for pickup tomorrow but we shall see. So what are we going to do today? Not diamond painting. I finished my Christmas hat. Look, guys. I have to, I have to raise the camera just a bit. So you guys can get the full effect. I have the door open back here so Tootsie can go in and out. Because it's a gorgeous day outside. Look! It's a Christmas tree! How cool is that? I made this myself. So we're going to... Decorate it! Yay! I gotta put my hat on. This is one that um, Nareda uh, made me. I, I'm pretty sure she'll tell me if I'm wrong. It's loom knitted. Um, or crochet. One or the other. <laughs> so I just finished making Billy's Fudge. Billy's Diamond Painting. Check out his channel. He has a recipe for fudge. I followed it. And poor Billy, I asked him during his, I think it was during my live one day, he was in there and I said, what, what is the purpose of the baking soda? Blah, blah. And I went all over and over about this damn baking soda. Guess who forgot that she didn't have any baking soda? No baking soda in the house. So I made it without baking soda. We're, we're going to see if it made a difference. I don't know. So here's what we're going to put on the tree, guys. Here's the tree topper. The star, the pink, it's pink, yes, I know. Some little balls, pink balls. We've got some lights, and we have some little decorations we've got here. Santa Claus, a snowman, a gift, the reindeer, an angel, some candy canes, a wreath, some bells, a stocking, a mitten that has little mitt candies in it, a Christmas tree. I don't think we need to put a Christmas tree on a green Christmas tree, so we may leave that one off. And a little gingerbread house. I think my favorite is Santa Claus, um, the gingerbread house, and the stocking. Those are my favorites. So we're going to put those on. And the coup de gras. Woo! This... For the garland how pretty is this now i'm a, i'm gonna do the garland last i think so uh let me get out this was a pattern that i found on ravelry the idea came to me when crystal sent me on facebook a picture of these little babies wearing these christmas tree hats and i thought oh my god that's adorable i have to make that but the link for that um photo was for an Etsy shop that was selling them. So I decided I'm going to find the pattern and I'm going to make it. So I went on Ravelry. They had some free patterns for if you put in Christmas tree hat, they had some free patterns. I just didn't like the choices. This is the one that I wanted and I so I put in the paid patterns and I found this one. It was like, you know, five bucks or so. But it's got these puff stitches um, and these are, uh, half double crochets in here. And then the band is actually a front post, back post uh, alternate, um, which is, it's really cool. It, it really was not difficult. I did not find it difficult. And I've been cro crocheting for maybe a little over a year, but I do crochet quite a bit. So, um, let's start with I'm going to start with the lights I think that I don't know what makes the most sense did I bring the yarn I didn't bring the yarn oh my god where's my yarn all right um all right I'm gonna go get the yarn I changed my mind I'm not going to use green yarn I'm going to use this yarn look it's shiny it's really thin I think it'll work I think it will work so I don't want 
like all the string that's on here. I don't, I just don't need all that string. So yeah, that's going to be a mess. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's get my little scissors out. And we'll just cut those off. I don't want them on there. Okay. So let's just take a little... I just had the end of this a minute ago. I just did! Okay, here it is. I found it. I found it. Okay. Oh, how do I want to do this? Hmm. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put it through here. Then we'll put it through. Oh, will it fit? Oh, it won't fit. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Our plan has already been foiled. Will this fit? Ah, dear. I need a thinner darning needle. All right, let me go find one. I'm sure I have one. Be right back. So I found a smaller darning needle. I don't know that it is small enough. No. So I think what I'm gonna do is use a cross stitch needle, an embroidery needle. And if that fabric if this yarn is too thick for it, um, I brought some of this that should work. Let's see. I don't know. I, I think this is going to be unrealistic, and maybe I should see if I have any green. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> I think we got it. All right. I have a cross stitch needle. And I have some green thread. Yay! This is cross stitch thread. It's um, six ply, as you know. And I probably, I'm just going to use two, two strands of the six. So let's cut it. This is always the fun part with cross stitch, separating the threads. But I've been doing it for. <laughs> 50 years, so 50 years, oh my god, can you believe that, yes, I, I did cross stitch way back 50 years ago, I, I enjoy cross stitch, but um, it's a very time, you know, time intensive, it really is, like what I'm doing is not time intensive, right, <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, all right, we got it. We got it. We got our two strands here. Okay, we need another drink. All right, here we go. We got it. Now we know two strands is going to fit in here. Yay. Threading it is always the fun part. <laughs> As I get older, you know. Here we go. We got it. We got it. This the light in here is fantastic right now. We'll see what happens a little later on. Actually, this might be perfect. Perfect. Okay. And it does go through here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna probably try to put this one towards the top. Let's see how far up we can get it. Let's try maybe here. There we go. Oh wow, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. All right, so. Where, where, where's my needle? <laughs> Let's turn this inside out. I know I could hear you guys saying, turn it inside out, Rebecca. I could hear you. I could hear you. <laughs> I wish we could all be in the same room doing this together. Like we all had little hats and we could all just kind of work on it together. 
All right, so let's put another light in him. Let's do a blue. Oh my God, this is gonna be so cute. Let's do a blue. Maybe like right. Hmm. I need like three hands for this. Let's go all the way. Let's see if we can get it all the way, maybe up towards the top. Can we? Where's the needle? Where's my needle? No, I don't want to go there. I want to go right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. Okay. That's going to look so cute. Alright, let's grab the needle. We'll be done with this about midnight. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't even know what time this premiere, I think this premiere is in the afternoon, so, yeah. So, I should have said grab some lunch instead of the popcorn, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, whatever you grab. Whatever you grab, it's okay. Let's, uh, I don't want this tangled up around the light bulb here. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, so what's going on here? What is going on here? We want our thread. Now, where is the end of our thread? Okay, we're we're good. Cause here's the here's the end, and the end that's in. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh my god, how cute is that? All right, I think we should do a red. Wait, what have we done? Yellow, orange, red. We've got purple. Oh my goodness. We can do a purple. Do we want to do a green. I don't think we want to do green, do we? Mm -mm. Uh, lots of red. Lots of red because it's kind of a pinkish red. That one is, anyway. Uh, yellow. We haven't done yellow. Okay. Did we do? Okay, we did blue. Where's my needle? Okay, let's uh, let's go over here. Mm -hmm. Ow. Of course, I'm going to stick myself. Let's go in here. I'm just, you know, just like when you decorate the tree, the Christmas tree, which I still have to do, um, you just put them in random places. Now, I've never made this before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I really don't. We're going to see. And I'm going to make it go all the way around because my head is, you know, not flat <laughs> like the earth. Do you know that there's people who still believe that, that the earth is flat? Yeah, and they also voted. No, I'm not going to say that. Oh, no. It came off the thread. Oh, no. Here's the thread. Hold on. We can save it. We can save it. Yeah. I know what I should have done. I should have doubled the thread up. I'll do that on the next strand. I will, I will. It still might come off, but... Because, like, right now, I don't know where the end is. <laughs> the other end went. That's the good thing about yarn. The, your thread can go in and you would never find it again. Ever. Ever. Oh, one strand went in. Come on. This is so exciting! <laughs> we could sing Christmas carols. Here goes my neighbor. So, my uh, landlord came by today. Uh, you know, I had called her and told her, listen, uh, Tootsie and I have been up since, you know, this was the other day. Middle of the night, Tootsie starts barking because... You know, she hears a noise. And Tootsie is my alarm. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh my God, do I need to call the cops? And I'm listening and I don't hear anything. Um, so I'm like, do I call 911 or do I just get up and like turn, start turning lights on? You know, I don't know what to do. So, uh, so I get up. I have no weapon. I've got like a box of tissues. I don't know what I'm going to beat this guy with. I grabbed the box of tissues. 
I'm going to get, can you see me with this box of tissues? Yeah. So I'm walking around, turning on lights, <laughs> walking around the house, turning on lights. And um, yeah, silly me. So <laughs> there's nothing going on. I leave every light on, every single light. So I go lay, Tootsie goes back to bed. She follows me around. She doesn't find anything. She goes back to bed. So I'm like, oh, I guess everything's okay. So we lay down. Now I've got every light on in the house. And I lay down and I hear, I hear a noise above my head. I'm like, what the hell? Well, first I think it's outside. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, now again, I'm thinking, do I call 911? I'm glad I didn't call 911. I've, I would have felt awfully silly. Um, so then I, you know, we listened for a little bit longer and it's also Jake, my other watchdog, sound asleep, never woke up, not a peep, which kind of keyed me off that it really wasn't an intruder because Jake would have woke up and started barking his head off. I think I'm purple now. So I realize there's something up there. <laughs> And the guy, you know, my neighbor had said, there's raccoons in the, in the ceiling. And I had told the landlord, you know, there's raccoons. The neighbor said there's raccoons in the ceiling. Look how cute. I'm kind of trying to gauge where I should put the next ones. Um, oh, maybe, maybe over here. Maybe right here. So, um... So she comes over, the landlord comes over today, and uh, she's got her ladder, and she's going up in the ceiling. I'm like, are you crazy? I wouldn't go up there. It's probably a wreck. She's like, ah, oh, no, she's got her tennis shoes on. She's a young girl. And she, she's like, oh, wait, this happens at our ranch all the time. I'm like, what? She goes, oh, it's probably just a bird. I'm like, a bird? So... <laughs> She comes back and she's like, do you have a better flashlight? Poor thing. She's up in the attic with using her iPhone as a flashlight. I'm like, uh, clearly that's not going to work too well. So, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> she, <laughs> oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God. So, um. I don't know if I should use the green or not. I don't think that's going to show up too well. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, should she have a flashlight? I, no, I don't, I don't have a flashlight. So now i got to get a baseball bat and a flashlight because a box of tissues and an iPhone are not going to work if we're an intruder. Um, <laughs> so, my goodness. So, uh... She's like, oh, never mind. I said, is there any, because I said, isn't there any electricity up there? And she's like, oh, wait, never mind. Here, there's a, a light switch. <laughs> so she turns the light on and she uh, goes in the attic. Well, she's already up in the attic, but so she goes back because it's all the way in the other side of the house from where you enter the attic. Um, she's like, no, there's something in the corner. I, it's not a bird, but there's something there. Um, and I'm like, well, what do you think it is? She's like, well, it's either a raccoon or a possum. I'm like, what? <laughs> How did that get in there? So she's trying to explain to me, and I'm like, you know, just get it out. So uh, she goes back, and uh, she comes back, and she says, it's, it's a possum. Um, and, you know, it's running away from her. You know, but she said, it's still there, so I'm... I'm going to go get a trap, a live trap. Oh, so she calls her husband, who's like this wealthy politician guy, and um, says, I need a live trap. And he's like, what are you doing? So, so she explains it to him. So she's coming back tomorrow with a live trap to put in the attic. Um, I don't know how I'm going to know when this thing is trapped. I guess I will, um, I don't know, listen I, she's going to have to come back and check because I'm not going in that attic. Um, no. Uh -uh. First of all, 
quite dangerous for me to be lurking in around this attic. I think I'm going to put one more in and then start another uh, piece of thread. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that's probably going to do it. Where's the other end of the thread? There we go. All right, what color do I need? Do, do, do. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> and all we've done is the light bulbs so far. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough light bulbs. Is, does that happen to you when you're decorating Christmas tree? Oh, wait, we don't have enough light bulbs. So my tree is pre-lit. Thank God, because there's nothing worse than you get out the tree and you realize, shit, I don't have enough light bulbs. And you got to go back to Walmart or, you know, wherever it is you purchase your light bulbs from. All right, let me just kind of roll this up and I want to just, I just want to end this thread somewhere near, somewhere near the last entry. Good enough. Good. Oh, is it still on there? Oh, good. I thought it came off. All right, so we'll make one one more little pass. So we'll make sure it's not coming out. There we go. All right. Okay, we did well. We did some of it, didn't we? Okay. Let's see. Look how cute! That's so cool. Should we put the star on before? We get too far because the star's got to go all the way to the top. Now I don't like this metal thing here. Can I get this off of here? I wonder. But if I take this off, what am I gonna? I see what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna need to cut the. Oh my god, my word. All right, pause, please. Well, <laughs> at the thought I might put myself, you know, at the thought that maybe I'll put myself in the hospital trying to cut this thing, I'm not gonna cut it because all I have is kitchen knives. And I'm like sawing away and I'm thinking, I'm gonna go to the hospital. I know it. I'm just going to, uh, I left the spring in there, I stretched it out a little bit. I am going to, hmm, let's see. This is why I said let's do this now. Since it's not going to touch, touch the top of my head anyway, we're just going to put this through and we're going to leave it there. <laughs> and it fell off. Of course it did. Do you always have trouble with the top of your tree? The star, it's always like bent the wrong way. It won't sit straight. What we're doing here. We're having trouble with the star. <laughs> Alright, it's in. It that's what she said, right? It's in. <laughs> but is it the right hole? <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Okay. Rebecca, what in the world are you talking about? This is Christmas. What is it doing? Come on, go in. There's an object in there. It's like I'm not wanting to pass something or other. What is going on here? Let's find out. Ow. It just does not. It's, uh, it's not. Oh, you know what? It's just knotted in the yarn. Uh, all right, we're gonna leave it. <laughs> That's the way it's gonna be. Okay, and we're gonna put the star on. Maybe we'll just put it on last. Because... <laughs> God. Okay, that, there's the star right there. Gotta find the hole again. Not gonna stay on it. God. 
So I'm going to take these out. Where are we at? Oh, 26 minutes! We're not going to finish! Oh my god! I might have to uh, fast track some of this for you. Uh oh. We'll see how much, uh, we'll see. We'll get to the end and then if I have to, you know, fast track it a little bit, I will. Okay, what do I, I want to put on Santa. I want to put on, I don't want to put on anything that has a lot of green in it. Like that present. Uh, the wreath. The bell has some yellow. This has red and white. We'll do that one. We'll do the bell. We'll do the stocking. Alright, we're not going to do that one or that one. We'll do these two. Whatever I don't do, I'm going to put on my Christmas wreath. I crocheted a Christmas wreath last year. What do I want to do with all the trash? Okay, let's let's just put the trash over here. What, and I still have these, too. These little balls that we can put on there. Alrighty. Okay. Look at this mess! <laughs> now, do they... These have little um, things here, I think. I think. Maybe not. They do not. Oh, my goodness. Huh. I thought they had, like, little hooks. Okay. We will make it work. We will make it work. Yep. I hear the ice cream man. I got in so much trouble when I was younger. My siblings and I were out playing. You know, when you were younger, I don't know if you guys know that now, but back in the day, your parents just put you out, go outside and play, go outside and play. It is hot. We don't, no, go outside and play. You know, so they let us play in the hose. And we, you know, I remember we had our bathing suits on, we had a little pool. Well, here comes the ice cream man. And my sister, she was two years younger than me, Jean. Poor thing. <laughs> I was such a mean older sister. So, we run around the side of the house and we run to the front door because we're going to get to the, we, we need money for the ice cream man. Ice cream man, ice cream man, ice cream man. Um, <laughs> and, um. Oh my God, I'm trying to remember the story. It, somehow my sister slipped and fell, busted her chin wide open. Um, I, felt, I didn't feel bad for her because, you know, that's whatever. Um, <laughs> I was young. Here's what I want to do. I want to take this. We want to do, we're going to do two strands, one strand into two. I don't know why I'm doing two here, so let's just do, we just need one strand here. Of course, it's going to tangle on me. Gosh darn it. It's crossed its thread. Why wouldn't it tangle, right? All right. All right. All right. All right. I know you have to be done a certain way. Okay, there we go. All right. Someday I'll teach you all that trick. I don't know. You probably know it already. Do, do, do. All right, so I'm doubling the thread. That way I have at the end of the, I have a, I'm going to do a loop. A loop, a fruit loop. Because I honestly don't know what happened at the end of that first thread I used. It's just on that out somewhere. Things are going to start coming off when I start dancing around, you know. And uh, ornaments are going to go flying. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm losing the light, people. She's losing. I've also lost the sharpness on my scissors. Oh my God. For God's sakes. Can we have one thing go right? Please? Anyway, my sister busted the heck out of her chin. None of us got ice cream. I got in trouble. But you know, that was childhood. <laughs> And poor, my poor sister, she's got the scar to this day. I don't know how many stitches she had to get. She had to go to the hospital. Yep. Boy, was I in trouble. I don't think I pushed her. I don't know. You know, I was the big sister, so of course I got blamed for it. Oh, my word. 
we're going to edit out the part where I'm threading the needle. Yes, we are. Then it won't be an hour and, and a half or two hours long. We'll take out the 20 minutes it took me to thread needles. Here we go. Now we got Santa Claus. Let's see if we can do this in some form or fashion. I don't know. Let's see if we can put Santa up here. If we can get Santa Claus up here. You know, if he hangs just a little bit, you know, that's okay. It's an ornament, right? You know, we want him to hang. Oh, nope. We don't want him to fall off. Did not work. Why not? Let's put it up here, baby. Let's put it up here. Like this. Let's see if that works better. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if that's gonna go in now. Please go into the hat. The inside of this hat is going to look like a spider. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that to go in. Oh, is it going in? Is it going in? Is it going in? It does not want to go in, does it? But it's hanging there, isn't it? Come on, go in. That gold thread does not want to go inside the yarn. Oh, there it goes. We did it. We did it. Okay. Now, where? how do we want it to lay? Just kind of like, we want it to be right there. So, kind of like that, maybe. Between the bobbles, or just sitting there. Yeah, like that, I think. This go oh, my God. Okay, well, that's good enough. Oh, my God. All right, let's see if we can just secure it. <laughs> All right, let's secure it. I'm gonna bring that needle up, back up through here. We wanna secure it and back down. It's not gonna go anywhere. There's the ice cream man! So, all right, this is what we have so far, guys. All right, this is where I fast forward. 
um, and show you and I'll come back when I have a bit more done and show you. that I want to put on there. These the little gnomes, the little uh, stars that I found. I took those off the, the crochet one that I did last year. The little ornaments. Some of them want to turn themselves around. The bulbs. Um, as it looks like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. Now the top has this little wiring that went in here. Um, not so easily. Um Trying to see if I can push it down a little bit. Because it's wiring and yarn, it just it doesn't really mix. Um, so what I'm gonna do is at the last second stick the star on it, take some pictures, and uh that'll be the star. Because <laughs> I really don't know any other way to kind of attach it. And I don't I don't even think I could get that wire out of there if I wanted to. kind of so there there it is I should put it on right I should put it on it's not done yet we're not done yet hold on <laughs> hold on oh my god Woo! that's crazy <laughs> oh my god it's so funny hold on See if I can, oh, okay, we still got to put garland, but you know what? It's staying on there pretty, pretty snugly. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, look, a little gnome, <laughs> pink gnomes. Oh my God. How funny is that? Oh, you know why I wear hats? Well, first of all, because I love hats, but <laughs> cover up my gray because I'm too lazy to dye my hair right now. Anyway. So I have this garland. I'll put you back down here because you want to see the tree. You don't want to see me. We're going to try to put this garland on the tree. Yes. All right. Let me take the topper off. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this is, I, this has been quite the project. Um, all right. So here's the task, and I don't know, I don't know if you're going to be able to do it uh, with the time lapse on. I would like someone to tell me how many times, and I'm going to go back and try to count it as well. Tell me how many times I threaded the needle, because it had to be like a hundred. Well, maybe not a hundred, but you know, somewhere around there. What, you know what, never mind, don't do that, because <laughs> I think I'm going to edit some of it out, yeah. All right, let's see what we can do with the garland. Now, is it one piece? Oh my word, it's one piece. Ah, okay, I was afraid of this. All right, all right, let's get, here's what I think I'm gonna do. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm trying to think this through because we wanna, you know, we wanna kind of wrap that around the tree. You know, we wanna make it pretty. So, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is, what I did, we're going to thread the needle some more. Woo! -hoo! Okay. It's okay. We've got plenty of thread. All right. <sighs> yes. All right. I think I used more thread, uh, cross stitch thread, to, in the last week than I've used in uh, a year. 
because I don't do a lot of cross stitch. I just, you know, it's just a, a time consuming project, as was this Lord in heaven. But I just kind of want to secure that garland a little bit. Um, and I think I'm, you know, just here and there, not, not everywhere, obviously. Let's see what we can do. All right. Oh, this should be fun. I think, all right, so first we're going to thread the needle again. All right. Um, hmm. I'm sure y'all are going to come up with a way easier way than I did. And then I'm going to kick myself and go, why didn't you tell me that before? But, oh, well, <laughs> live and learn, right? You know, it's been fun. I'm, the sun is setting. And I'm just sitting here watching the sunset, listening to the dogs bark. I'll edit all that out uh, so you guys don't have to hear it as well. Good God. I've actually got the door open because it's been a very mild weather day. It's probably in the 60s out there, I'm going to say. 60s, okay. So I want to secure this maybe to the top here. So I'm just going to, we're just, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll, we'll, we'll try it and we'll see. Let's, let's, let's see. I'm just going to grab a teeny bit a little bit about what I did was I doubled over the thread and, and then I'm just going to grab the the end of the thread that loop there and I'm just going to go like that and secure that little piece of and it's I probably should have done a all right you know what let me do let me do go to the top and do it because it's sticking out it looks weird let's see if we can do the top one it's not really how I wanted to do it, but I don't want to thread the needle again. Stop. Behave. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm almost to the point where I'm over this. Almost, but not quite. I want to show you that. Please. So what was the most fun part of this? Uh, it was working on just the actual you know crochet part i don't know if this is because it's wrapping itself around the wire and but yeah it's <laughs> that ain't gonna work well i don't know maybe it will jesus <laughs> we're like rebecca what are you doing i'm just trying to get that little Piece to stay there. We'll just, just stay one place. Okay, it's gonna stay. All right. <laughs> I said I'm gonna do the last part off of time lapse so that y'all can see it. So I'm just gonna bring it down here. You know, I'm just gonna wrap it around, and then I think after I decide how I want to wrap it around. We will secure, or should I secure it as I go, huh? Oh, okay, I'll secure it as I go. All right, you're right, you're right. I should, I should, because I'm gonna get it all wrapped up there and then it's gonna be a big mess. Okay. Okie dokie, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm gonna play that music for you over and over and over again. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's secure it here. Let's secure it here. We're just going to put it here like this in this loop. And it is secure. Yay! And then I'm gonna I'm just gonna wrap it a couple of times. Why not? And then uh, cut it. Okay. 
oh my poor hat <laughs> it's like squished because it's so heavy <laughs> okay next all right so let's uh I just secured that right there. Let's see. Come on, you gotta stand up now, Hat, or I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's like, but you're weighing me down, Rebecca. You're weighing us down. I don't know. I don't know. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's secure that. Hmm might take a while as well and so I have to finish the story that I started earlier about the raccoon or possum we have not determined which one it is so but there is a raccoon or a possum up in my attic so the landlord came over yesterday with two traps um light traps what they're called and I said well how are you gonna get them in the trap I'm so naive she's like oh cat food everybody loves cat food they all love cat food I'm like oh who knew? um so uh, gosh darn it <sighs> I know you're like okay that's three times you've threaded the needle Rebecca in the last five seconds um so i have two live traps up in the attic with cat food in them mm -hmm. yeah, cat food okay i don't know how i had that like this right okay let's just put this here see if we can secure it you know <laughs> this is so pretty it was so pretty when i bought it but now it's not so pretty anymore Oh, what the heck. Okay, so how does that look? It look it looks fantastic! Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, we're we're gonna end it right there. No, we'll keep going. I'm just wrapping this around a little bit more because we want it to secure. Oh my word. Okay. There we go. Alright. So we got that. All right, now we want to keep going. We want to go around a little bit. Let's go over here, like here, maybe. How's that look? Oh, Rebecca, it looks wonderful. <laughs> You're like, this is the dumbest video ever. No. Anyway, so the landlord is She's like, let me know if you hear one of the traps go off. I'm like, uh, okay. Now, I don't know what I'm listening for, but, uh, I don't know. She says sometimes they can get in and then get back out. I'm like, oh dear. So, um, I haven't heard anything and I am listening because I'm quite curious. All right, let's see. Let's put that under there. Let's just, let's just secure this here. I'm just securing it in different little spots. So it just doesn't, you know, fall off of the hat. And it's getting caught on absolutely everything. Okay, we're not, we are not threading this needle again until the next time. Um, so she's supposed to come back tomorrow and check the traps because I'm not doing that. No. Meanwhile, the neighbor's probably going, eh, I told you so. <laughs> I told you there was something up there. Okay. Like, oh, she picked up the hat. How intelligent. That would probably make it easier. Okay, so that's, uh, all right. We're almost there, guys. Let's just keep going around. Oh, what happened here? Is that what I did? Oh, my, that's what I did. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right, let's, uh, how are we going to do this? Let's go here. All right. 
<sighs> so, uh, I'm going to be there tomorrow. Because if she comes down out of that attic with something in the trap, I want to take a picture and show you. Yeah, I'll post it. But this is what's in my attic. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, oh, the cat boot is going to be up there for two days, stinking up my attic. Yeah, it'll be all right. So, I'm supposed to be talking about Christmas stuff, not catching rodents in the attic. <laughs> but, you know, I, I you, you hear from me every single gosh darn day of the week, don't you? Mornings with crop journey oh, yep and I'm getting ready to go live here soon okay so we got that there I don't know if this is turning out okay or not I don't know what do you think yeah what the heck we can always add more right let's put some there it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's toys in every store. I got a new toy, a Cindy Woodland. I'm so excited. I'm going to be making a... What am I going to be making? Oh, a um, cowl with a hat um, all in one. It's going to be cool. I watched the pattern and it should be pretty easy. So I'm going to start that tonight. What time is it? I have to start that soon. Ooh, in 45 minutes. Mm. This thing has taken me a hot minute. Uh, yes, it has, but that's okay. All right, let's, uh, let us secure this. Oh, let's see. Right here, I think. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, right here. I'm just mashing the hat down. <laughs> it's like, oh, poor hat. And the yarn just went through that. Gosh darn it. Maybe I should have done this on time lapse. Okay, I did that there, so that wants to go there. All right, so we just want to do this right here. Okay. You know, just like your Christmas tree at home, it's not perfect, you know. Um, it's, it's just kind of, it is what it is, right? And the more you look at it, the more beautiful you think that it is, right? Say right. Okay. All right. Let's see how. So that's what we got. Oh my God, that's pitiful. Uh, that's what we got so far. Let's keep going. Because I got plenty of it. What am I doing here? I certainly do have plenty. I guess I could go around again. I don't want to go around again. I think once will be uh, plenty. Okay, let's just do this. All right, I want to go like right there. All right, I need another thread. <sighs> okay. We have another thread. Okay, I think this is a good spot for this. Just 
wind it around a little bit and we'll cut it. Okay, how's that? How's that? Beautiful! I know. I think so too. I think that should go under there. Oh my god, this poor hat. <laughs> Maybe right there. Okay, do we have any more thread? We do, we have the technology. We do. Okay. I'm gonna put the rest of this on time lapse. So, here is the finished hat. <laughs> if I can get people to stop texting me. Okay, so there are the gnomes, the snowman, um, things that don't want to stay turned around. That star at the top is quite precarious. Um, I did the best I could, really. I did. <laughs> It's, I think it turned out okay. It, you know, it's kind of, it wants to be a little, like slouchy here on the table. Um, but it's got the bulbs and the pink ornaments. You know, there's the bulbs. Here's the, there's a little reindeer there. This here is just a little stocking, a mitten stocking. And then more, and there's, like, uh, what's that up there? There's Santa Claus up there. There's another gnome. This, yeah, this, <laughs> it does not want to stay. All right, I'm going to see if I can put this on and see what it looks like. Okay, there you have it. <laughs> it's, I don't know what's going on with the star here. It's like, you know, this, isn't this just like a Christmas tree? The star does not want to stay on the top. I don't know if y'all can see it. But uh, that's my attempt at a Christmas tree hat. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this premiere. I enjoy bringing it to you. I will be wearing my hat for the last 12 days of Christmas uh, on the morning show and when I go live. So, guys, if you're home by yourself, you're not alone. Me too. Bye, and I love you all.